are we really? What shapes who we become? Is our destiny planned for us or do we change it with every conscious choice or decision? Along the meandering path called life, it's our culture, community, social status and perception of how we fit into those parameters that creates a self-imposed definition. For me, growing up it was the simple pleasures that gave me joy. My family lived humbly, farming and raising a lot of our own food and finding laughter everywhere. As I watch these memories flashing before me, I see smiles. I see such a rich environment of prosperity and unconditional love that it overflows. My mother's smile, my grandmother's cookies, my father's quiet strength, the animals we shared our life with, the adventures we took. It all plays out like a sugar-sweet movie that no one would believe, but it really is my life. Hours spent riding my horse patches, imagining I was everything from a cowboy to an Indian to a circus pony rider. She was a joy that was given to me by a loving family that thrived on watching my happiness. Isn't that the best kind of love? Loving someone so much that your greatest joy is seeing them happy? I remember the years spent with my grandparents. I learned to bake bread, braid leather, carve wood. I learned horsemanship and respect for nature. I learned about always seeing the good in everyone. I learned that all creatures and all humans are equal and deserving of the same love. What causes us to cling to the dark sometimes? Choosing memories of pain and anguish when light is so much warmer. What is it that allows us to betray our own sense of happiness and well-being? As a mom, I look back on these flickering pictures of my life so meticulously chronicled by my own mother, and I realize the intense love and passion that she has for life and her children then and today. And then I realize she passed that on to me. Right now, this moment, I understand that as we lose our childhood, we allow the joyful memories to fade, clinging instead to those that support our seemingly harsh adult world. We pick out the ugly times and use them to excuse our own mistakes or habits. But gazing at the smiling faces reminds me of the truth about my life. It is filled with love and the treasure of family. Right now, this moment, I'm allowing the flood of joyful memories to fill my holy house. This life is an adventure, a quest to discover how I fit and what I can leave for the world. Who am I? I am a spiritual being experiencing humanity on a beautiful planet that provides all I need. The answer to happiness, joy and fulfillment is love. Love for who you come in contact with no matter how brief, and love for those you never meet love for the ants that break into your bag of sugar, and love for the old dog that sleeps at your feet. Love for the way the sun shines on a brisk February morning, and love for the darkest of storms. Life is for living. Love is for giving. I am that I am.